Hey guys, welcome to Porter's 10 month update. Um, sorry, you're gonna hear some noises in the background. Gray is running around and then we're dog sitting for my parents. We have Berkeley the dog here, so sorry if you hear background noise, but this is as good as I can get it. But anyway, yes, welcome to Porter's 10 month um, update. He's 10 months old, obviously. So let's just get to it. <clears throat> Let me turn off this TV because I feel like that might be kind of um, distracting. So Porter is 21 pounds now. He gained another pound. He's actually a pound heavier than Grayson was at 10 months. Um, and so he's getting really big. And then he is taller, I think, but we're not really sure because we didn't go to the doctor. We won't have another doctor's appointment until he um, turns a year old. So two more months until that happens. Porter is sort of doing a lot of new things this month. Some of the big things are he can wave now. Let's see if I can, can you say wave? Hi. Say hi. Hi. Okay, he's not, he just woke up from a nap, so I think he's still dazed, but he will wave and say hi and bye. I mean, not really bye, but he would go hi. So he does wave, it's super cute. He also dances now, and um, so yeah. yeah, anytime music comes on, he'll start like bouncing up and down, and it's really cute. Also, Porter can clap now, and so when we're like, yay, then he'll start clapping his hands, or he likes to like clap his wrist and go like this, or like his arm. I don't know why, but he thinks that's really, um, that's his version of clapping. So if I have some videos of those, I'll input those here. <laughs> Say, uh-oh. Are you waving? Say, uh-oh. <laughs> Porter Hudson. Yeah, so he's just more interactive. He definitely watches Big Brother Grayson and tries to mimic him. Anything that gets Grayson to laugh, a Porter tries to do. So if he's um, taking something on his tray and throwing it onto the ground and, Port and Grayson laughs at it, he does it over and over and over again. Or if it's um, Grayson pushing Porter in the swing and Grayson's laughing, Porter will start laughing at it. So he definitely laughs a lot more. Still kind of hard to get laughs out of him, but Grayson does get them really easily. Porter has um, been eating a lot of um, baby food and then trying regular ah. foods too. He loves melts. Puffs are okay, but he loves melts. He likes watermelon. Although a lot of times he just spits it back out. Like I have to make it really small pieces for him. He likes strawberries, okay. Bananas, okay. He's starting to come around to bananas. He loves waffles. He likes pancakes, French toast, like a lot of soft foods and stuff. So we're still working on it. Porter, um, for some reason, is kind of a snacker when it comes to drinking formula. He'll just have a little bit here and there throughout the day. And then it seems to be at night, he does his big feeding. So right before he goes to bed at night, he does a huge like six ounce feeding. And then he'll do two five to six ounce feedings in the middle of the night. Yes, he's still waking up in the middle of the night twice lately um, and it varies sometimes his first time will be like last night was like 10 o'clock when I had put him down three hours earlier or it could be as late as sometimes it goes till like 1 1 30 and then he'll wake up and then his second time again varies it could be 4 a.m. it could be 5 a.m. Um, it really kind of depends for a while there we were going only once and so I was really getting excited like we finally dropped the second feeding but now he's back to two feedings at night so I'm not sleeping it's horrible I hate it also, he is officially just on one nap a day. I tried to do the two nap thing, but every time I would put him down in the morning, he would then refuse to take an afternoon nap, and so he would be up from like 11.30 a.m. until his bedtime at 7.30. Bless you. So I just gave up with that, and I just put him down at 12, 12.30 now, and he sleeps two to three hours, um, and so he'll wake up around 3, 3.30-ish. 
Um, so he does pretty well with that and it just makes bedtime a lot easier. He goes to bed right at like 7, 7.15. He doesn't fight me anymore. He isn't doing those late night, like up until 10, 11 o'clock at night. So he does much better with the one nap schedule. It just shocks me that at nine, 10 months, he's only doing one nap. Gray went till like 15 months. <laughs> so it is crazy how that happened, but Hopefully that doesn't mean he's gonna drop the one nap way earlier because Gray still takes a nap and he's three. So I hope Porter still takes a nap for a long time, but he just seems to do a lot better with the one nap, so that's what we're gonna stick to. Porter um, does a lot more independent play, which is really nice for me. It seems like if I'm in the room and he sees me, he makes a beeline for me and just wants me to hold him. But if I just leave the room and he's playing and I'm still watching him but he can't see me, then he does really good on his own. And if Grayson's playing in there too, it's even better because he like likes to follow Gray and play with Gray. They are starting to get into like wanting to play with the same toys, which is kind of funny. Um, there are little fights here and there. Porter has been kind of like getting into those tantrums almost, which I think is like super early, but I don't know. He gets very frustrated if he has something that he shouldn't have and you take it away from him. He will scream, um, he will hit himself, or sometimes he hits me. And so, yeah, it's just kind of getting into those toddler tantrums, which I, I didn't think we were getting into, but he does get a little sassy. He has started to scream um, if I don't get to him fast enough whenever he, whatever he needs. So that's been kind of an adjustment. He's very sensitive. You know, if you, if anyone makes like a really loud noise, he cries. Yeah, very sensitive to things. He's scared of the vacuum, <laughs> doesn't like that. Porter can now say, uh-oh, say uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, I have a clip of it, so I'll put that here. He's just gonna stare today. Say, uh oh. Say, uh oh. Say, uh oh. Can you wave? Say, hi. Hi. <laughs> Good job. Oh. So yes, he can say uh-oh, he loves to say it. Still saying mama and dada. That's about it though, but he recognizes a lot of words. So if I say, where's Grayson? He knows, he starts to know where dada is. I don't think he knows who mama is. Um, if I say Felix, he knows how to find Felix. So he's learning words here and there. He's also learning um, sign language. So I go all done. And so he started to make the all done sign. And so right now I'm working on more with him. And I think he's kind of getting it. Like he kind of waves his hands, but I'm trying to get him to make the more sign, but we're working on it. So he's getting a lot better. Still loves veggie straws. Those are definitely his favorite snack for sure. Porter still loves being outside. He does awesome in the stroller, loves being pushed around. He um, likes the swing sometimes, sometimes it's not a hit. He loves bath time, loves being in the water, loves being around his brother. He loves playing with the water table, the pool he's kind of iffy about, <laughs> um, uh, the splash pad he's not crazy about. I took Grayson and Porter to a splash pad this past month and they were like scared of it. They were not into the splash pad. So he's kind of weary of new things. He likes to be held, but it's not as much as it, it has been in the past. Like I said, he has been doing a lot more independent play, which is so, so nice, especially with him getting heavier too. With the whole one nap, schedule thing he does seem to have a witching hour in the morning like 9 30 10 he gets cranky just because like he's tired but like he's not ready for a nap but he's just like tired so he does have a little crankiness in the morning definitely he's talkative as you can hear he crawls so fast now and he when he's happy he just will crawl all over a room and just back and forth back and forth and he just loves it he's pulling up on everything he can he will stand on his own for a couple seconds i think we've timed it to like seven seconds is the longest he's stood so far 
If I try to pick him up and make him stand on his own, he won't do it. Okay, he wanted down. If I try to pick him up and make him stand, he won't do it, but if he does it on his own, he will. Um, no steps or anything like that. He still only has two teeth. It did seem like he was having mouth problems or just like it was his mouth was hurting him like I was feeding him a bottle and he would like suck some and then he would cry because he was in pain and they would try to suck some more so we did go through that so I feel like more teeth are coming like I said he only has two just the bottom two right now but I'm sure more are coming soon hopefully more are coming so we can start eating like more food other than like purees his hair is getting ridiculously long. I'm just so over it. We are actually gonna get him a haircut coming up. So by the time I do his 11 month update, he will have a new do, thank goodness, because it's just way too long. His eyes are like the bluest blue. He, They are bluer than Grayson's. They are so pretty to look at. He's mostly into like 12 month clothes now. He's big, like I think for a while he's just gonna be sizing up like a size up instead of what he needs to be at. Porter recently discovered that he loves door stoppers and so he will go into the bathroom and play with the door stopper all the time and he thinks that's so funny. He loves to give open mouth kisses and so he does that all the time. We're working on saying like give kisses and him doing it on command but yeah he loves giving open mouth kisses so it's a little wet but it's so cute. He wants to climb up the stairs so bad. Um, Here's a picture but he has not figured it out yet, so he just stands at the bottom of the stairs and looks up at Big Brother Grayson, but I'm sure that is coming so soon. He is doing so much better with Stranger Danger. It used to be new people would come and he would just stare at them and like look away and not even want to look at them. He's done way better with new people and he'll actually like stare at them, so I feel like that's an improvement. Porter has recently started liking books, so I'll read him a book every time I put him down for nap time, and he loves it, and he'll just sit there and look at the picture, so definitely getting more into books when up until now, like, he had no interest in them. Of course, he likes any toy that makes music. The dancing Elmo is, like, his favorite right now, but yeah, any toy that lights up and makes music is his favorite. He still loves teether toys as well, anything he can put in his mouth and chew on. Porter is doing much better in his car seat. I can go long distances now and he will stay pretty happy. I think up to like 15 minutes past that then he starts getting a little cranky but it's much better than what it was. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Stay tuned for more updates. Subscribe, like this video and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!